got Game Face. And this, well, this is something completely new. Um, I've, I, I don't, right at this point in time, I would normally be sitting down either recording a game, editing something, or something. It's, a, it's Saturday morning, if, if anybody's wondering. Um, but I thought I would do something a little different. And I, I might keep it up. I might, I might do this, you know, every, uh, every Sunday afternoon, there'll be this, this episode of, of what I'm going to call seven days. This is seven days. So, and, and what I'm going to do in, in seven days is I'm going to talk about the last seven days. I'm going to talk about the last week, the games I played, you know, things like that. Um, what's going on, you know, if I got any of the, 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 uh, the, uh, boxes from you know loot crate or, or arcade block or whatever we'll talk about that um and then i'm going to talk about the next seven days w what's coming up what what am i going to be playing what, what's to look forward to um and you know there'll be some other stuff in the middle you know i'll, I'll talk about plans i have ideas i'm i'm i'm, I'm thinking of of doing um, and things along that lines um, so it'll be more like a, a, a chat. Um, but first, before I even start with any of that, my channel hit 300 subscribers um, about two weeks ago. Now, the channel's up and down. Truly, it is. Um, I almost hit 300 subscribers, and then, you know, within a week, I was almost back to down to 290. And I, I, I wish I knew why, um, but... You know, I just don't get that information from from YouTube. I, I don't know if people have closed their accounts or just hate me and just want to unsubscribe if I said something. <laughs> but normally if you say something, people comment. But I, I, I've seen a little bit of growth this week, and I think I'm beyond that point where the channel's actually going to drop down less than 300. So I want to thank all of you for joining me in this. Um, I've, I've had a lot of fun. Um, making the channel, uh, making the videos, playing the games, um, and, and the first thing I wanted to talk about today was why? Why do I do this? Um, and I'd have to say it came out of boredom. Boredom is probably the best way to describe it. Um, a couple years ago, I spent my summer on my bike. I was doing um, you know, there were days that I'd go out and I'd do like 40, 50 K on the bike. Um, and I was out all the time. I was always constantly busy. Um, I didn't watch a lot of TV. Uh, I don't watch any TV anymore, but, um, you know, back then uh, I did watch quite a bit, uh, videos and, and stuff on, on, on the computer and, and things like that. But, but winter came. And I was stuck in the house. I was bored. I had just built, like, the ultimate gaming rig. Well, what I thought at the time was the ultimate gaming rig. And I wanted to do something. I wanted, I wanted something to occupy my time on a daily basis. Sure, you could sit down and play games. But you can't play games constantly. Um, I know. I've tried. You get bored of games quickly. Um, and you go through phases where you just don't play any games. And then you play games and, and and that's what I found with me um, so I, I I had an Xbox one um, uh, I had built my PC I didn't have a PlayStation 4 yet but uh, I got that that winter so I was able to basically set myself up with um, I already had a camera I used a, um, a Canon what was it a Canon um, it's a it's a, right over here it's an EOS Rebel T T4i, but that's like a what is it? A D40, a 40D, a 60D, a 60D. That's what it is. A D60. It's something like that. Um, the T4i is a name that, that they only use in Canada, as far as I know, um, and I don't know why. Um, just to sort of confuse us, so we don't know what the hell everybody else has got. So I, I set up and I recorded my first video. Um, and, and at the time, I only did one, did one a day. Just one. Um, but I quickly found that there was there's time I had left over. So I decided to try for two a day. 
and you know it's been really busy ever since but i've been going now for i'm looking up i have a calendar with all my my uh, all my schedule of what what i'm going to be playing every day and i've been going for 78 weeks now since since day 1 not since i started doing doing uh two a day but i think i started doing two two a day about a month and a half in so it was very quick when I when I when I jumped into two a day, and you know what, I've been loving it. It's been awesome. Um, uh, just just the playing the games, the editing, just just the work that I do on my side, I enjoy so much. So I'm going to keep going at it. Um, I see no no reason for me to stop in the foreseeable future. So I'm going to be sticking around. I I know I tried not to make it a subscriber thing. I tried to set personal goals, like, like okay, I've got 500 videos up, you know, things like that. I've got, um, you know, 30,000 views or what, whatever the case may be. Um, those are the kind of goals I tried to reach, uh, personal goals, not not goals that depended on other people. And, and that's made me feel good about, about the progress. Um, though I, I obviously wish I had more than 311 subscribers, but... Doesn't every YouTuber wish they had more subscribers? Uh, more people to watch? That would be awesome. Um, so, now, let's talk about the last seven days. Um, so, at the beginning of the week, I finished Scrap Garden. It, 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 Scrap Garden was an indie, indie game. It wasn't really too expensive, so I'm, I'm not surprised that it, I went through it so quickly. Um, but... Um, I guess for what it was, it was it was fine. But I I think I I wanted more. I, I not more out of the game, but I I felt that the developer should have provided me with more tools in order to finish the game with less complication. Um, I felt the instructions were on the how to do things were very vaguely conveyed, um, and that bugged me a little bit. But I really did enjoy the game, and for the price, I really can't complain. Um, you know, I wish more indie developers did stuff like this, um, because it was really a major production for an indie developer, I think. Um, Fallout 4, um, I've been, yeah, Fallout 4 right now to me sort of feels like a grind. Um, and I, I think it's because I played Fallout 4 to finish the mission. I, I I didn't have to build up my character a lot. Like, I know I have a friend whose character's... Um, he's got over 200 plus hours in, and his character is over level 100. Um, that's not how I play. It, I'm, I'm... That's not... Because I play so much, I can't concentrate on the one game and just and just level up. Um, though I, I wish I could sometimes. And, and, and it's funny, though, it, depending on the game... I may change my priorities to do so. Um, perfect example was Far Cry Primal. Um, God, I loved that game. It was so much fun. You'd play it. Um, if, if I was frustrated with one game, I'd just hop in Far Cry Primal and record that. I, I don't get that in a lot of games. But like I said, Fallout 4, I don't think I'm enjoying that grind as much right now. Though I really enjoyed yesterday making yesterday morning's episode um, uh, video. Because it had a fully self-contained story. It wasn't all the whole Far Harbor thing and all spread out. It was it was all self-contained and one thing. So I really enjoyed that. Editing was a blast because you got to make sure that you you made sure that you told the story um, um, uh, that they were trying to tell me, but in a much more because of course you know that was that was still an hour and twenty minutes of recording, and but I was able to bring that down to twenty minutes and provide the story as I got it, or most of it, presented to me um, in the video, and, and that was kind of cool, because it is a self-contained story. You don't have to know all about Fallout in order to know, uh, understand what's happened here. Though it's not, it wasn't a very, it was a mystery. It wasn't a very difficult mystery, I'll tell you that. Um, the Division. I've been, uh, you know, it's a love-hate relationship with The Division. Um, I've had problems leveling up though I, I feel as though I'm reaching that point where I'm ready to go, start moving forward again. Um, I did on uh, on Thursday, I recorded an episode where I, I actually moved into another area, took another mission, 
and I was able to gain another full level to bring me up to the level that I would have needed to take that mission. You know, so, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, but still, when I'm playing the game and not getting killed over and over and over and over again, it is so much fun. Um, the tactical aspect of it, the, the cover aspect of it, I really like. Um, I'm also playing Portal. Sorry, I keep on glancing down here because I have, like, a list of stuff that I'm talking about. Um, <laughs> but, yeah, I'm also playing Portal 2. Um, I played Portal Mel Stories. Please, <laughs> no comments on Portal Mel Stories. I really enjoyed it. It got me into the Portal universe, let's say. I already had Portal 2. I just, obviously, to play Mel Stories, you need Portal 2. But um, I never, I never played it. But now I am. Um, enjoying it, I, 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 I find the difficulties ramping up pretty quickly, and I'll probably be playing it this weekend sometime again, so I'll, I'll see how it, how it goes. You know, there's definitely more Portal 2 coming out next week. You know, of course, there was a No Limits 2 episode last week. Um, some good tracks, one not so good track, um, but th that's, that's what happens. That's what happens when you don't put limits on people. There's bad tracks. There's good tracks. Um, I just, I'm just been pretty lucky that most of the time I get six good tracks. So what's coming up next week? Well, I got more Doom coming. Um, oh, what else? Oh, oh, oh yes, big things next week. Um, Mirror's Edge Catalyst is coming out. And I'm going to be picking up, and there'll be a video for Mirror's Edge probably, I'm thinking Wednesday, Wednesday morning, we'll probably see Mirror's Edge Catalyst. Um, the um, Land, Air, and Sea DLC for Just Cause 3. There's the Land, what is it called? It's called Mech Land Assault. Um, so the Land portion of the Air, Land, and Sea DLC is being released. I'm looking forward to that. Saturday morning, expect a Just Cause 3 video. Um, another big thing next week is the Aliens 30th Anniversary Crate from Loot Crate will be coming in. I ordered that so, so long ago, and and I haven't seen anything of it. So that's coming in. That, I'll probably have a video up maybe Tuesday, maybe Wednesday, um, but definitely not Monday because I won't have it. So that's that's what's going on next week. I don't think there'll be any other crates or boxes. Um, and I'm really not sure what else I'm playing. I'm, oh, I'll, I'm pretty sure Uncharted, Uncharted will be finished next week. And I didn't talk about Uncharted. I've been playing Uncharted every second day um, for the last little while. And it's been up and down. Um, Uncharted, for me, always had... Um, its ups and downs as as any action adventure game like that that you're following a specific path I, I find myself somewhat frustrated at times that I can't do things that a character should be able to do but hey that's me um, it is definitely an excellent ver game it's true to the Uncharted series um, and I, I am really enjoying it I may be finishing that up in the next couple days I'll probably finish it this weekend record it all so it's all ready to go. Um, and, and we'll be finishing up that this week, I think. Other things going on. Um, game Jolt. I, I get a lot of the um, indie games I play, the free games off Game Jolt. But now Game Jolt is awful, also selling indie games. And it's all indie games. Like I haven't seen any big publishing company games on there at all, ever. Um, it's a very small market. Or not market... Maybe it's a large market, but it's a very small site. Um, and really, at first, I didn't know what to think. Um, I, I I found that the, a lot of the featured games were the paid games, and I was like, uh, you know. Um, but I did buy a couple games so far, and they were okay. I, I they're, they're just basically polished versions of some of the other indie games that were out there. Um, or, or that were, you know, 
in-game jolt before. They're just they're just much more polished, and truly, I could see why you would pay for them. Um, but of course, I'm sometimes bad at picking games like that if there's not a lot of information, and that's one thing I find. When you go to Steam, there's tons. As a game comes out, there's no way I'm the first person to buy it. There's tons of information on it. There's loads of stuff in the community. I had loads of reviews. But here, you could be quite easily be one of the first people to buy the game and there's no comments at all and you don't know what to make of it so there is a little bit more risk but you know if you like indie games it is definitely a good marketplace so i think i, I, I we're going to leave this here right now um I'm, i've got to go i've got to start my recording other recordings for tomorrow and and maybe get a bit little bit ahead so i got some some breathing room during the week and uh, we'll see how it goes. I'm hoping to do this every week, but we'll have to wait and see. Um, I have to say, I enjoy it. I'm Gameface. Please like, subscribe, and share. And I will see you all next time. Thank <laughs> you.